everyone, welcome back to the episode of the Rails API series. So in the previous episode, we tried to cr send an empty, like an invalid form to the server and we expected to get a 422, but we got a 500, which means there's an error on the server side. Like, you know, it should not be a 500 because we already actually implemented the part that uh, has error handling. However, there is a typo. When I went to look back on the server, there is a typo. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what every developer should be doing is when they find this kind of problem, they should write a test. I mean, we should already have written a test, but we didn't. So it got us. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this really, really simple bug. Uh, and then basically, you know, we're not just going to go back to the client side and make it work. Like, you know, we, we're just going to write the test to test out the error handling stuff as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here uh, and uh, I'm going to write that test. So test um, should return uh, unprocessable entity do. Nope, we don't need any of that variable. Oh man, sometimes it just gets you these autocomplete stuff. All right, so basically we're going to submit an empty organization params and we're going to make that request. So I'm going to have organization params. So maybe we have the name but we don't have the address. So I already implemented the validation and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, these two are going to be empty. All right, so we're just simulating the empty form submission. So here I'm going to do a post. And I'm going to do a V1 organization. Path, account, headers, header, and params are going to be organization, organization params. So everything looks almost the same as the creation, the successful creation. The only thing is we're going to assert something different. So assert response unprocessable entity. All right. So uh, I'm going to run the test and see if everything works. So I'm going to do Rails test over here. Looks good. Everything is working. Uh, so now, now that we have the, the you know the, the the simulation actually working and the test is you know returning what we expect. Um, the next thing we want to do is try this out. So I'm going to head over into here and I'm going to try to submit that form and you're going to see uh, a, a 422 over here. So if I type in some name over here uh, and leave the address and the taxpayer ID empty, I'm going to click create. We should get a 422 and we do. So here we're getting an error, like errors, address and all that stuff can be blank. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this response over here in the next episode in the Rails, in the React uh, Foundation series, we're going to take these errors and we're going to render it out to the user uh, and you know how we handle that and how we do that in React. Uh, so basically we're going to be creating a com component to handle an error and we're going to use that component to handle errors across our application. So yeah. Uh, I, with that, I want to wrap this up. This is a free episode, uh, so on for our YouTube uh, members. So uh, if you want to see more of the Rails API series, become a member and check out our back catalog, and you know look forward to our future member exclusive episodes as well. It's just nine bucks a month, uh, pretty accessible and cheap. So with that, I want to wrap it up. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Share with your friends and family. See you guys in the next episode.